So a woman got married to Jesus? Is this really newsworthy? Because I thought every Christian was married to Jesus. Hmm. Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Welby here, and we're talking about one crazy wedding here for you at I.O. Okay, dudes, dudettes, everybody out there in the YouTube world, I want to know what are your thoughts on religion? Let me know down there. Comments below. I really want to read it. Oh, yeah. So Jessica Hayes, she's 38 years old, and she literally had a marriage because she is swearing herself to Jesus. Now, if you guys don't know who Jesus Christ is, I don't know where you have been in the last couple of centuries. But he is the son of God. And Jessica, well, she's just a high school teacher. So the wedding took place at the Cathedral of Immaculate Conception in Fort Wayne. Indiana. Now, when she became married, she joined an elite group of consecrated virgins. Now, consecrated virgins, they are kind of like nuns. But what's different about them and nuns is they don't live in convents and they have no obligation to do any work for the church. But you know what? Let's be real. A lot of them do volunteer anyway. So far, there are 230 consecrated virgins in the United States, along with 3,500 worldwide. And they're all married to Jesus. Man, Jesus gets all the ladies. I feel like Jesus has some weird harem going on right now. Now, this wasn't a decision that she made suddenly. She spent years of soul searching and prayer before she decided to do this. Now, the service itself wasn't exactly a marriage, but it had some similar, well, symbols, such as a veil, a bridal outfit, and yeah. Yeah, even a rank. I don't know about you guys, but I think Jessica looked absolutely beautiful on the day. Believe it or not, she had many different choices to choose from, but she said she wanted to look completely covered and look absolutely beautiful the way a bride should be. So guys, if you guys are kind of like a spiritual person like me, hit that like button. I want to know how many of you guys are out there. So what are your thoughts on this, guys? Do you think this is going a little bit too far for God or not? Let me know down there in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Steve Welpen. Keep it real. Keep it classy. Keep it on the flip side out there in the spiritual world. Oh yeah, and if any of you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, that would be cool beans and hamburger soup. Doesn't really make sense, but you know where to find me.